Hey guys, what is up? It is True Killer 360 here, and I am kind of making a quick video. I'm kind of on the go. I'm in my messy garage, so if you guys see a mess, that's what it is. Uh, I just wanted to uh, make a quick video talking about some of the new, uh, I guess, systems that are coming out. Um, I'm talking about the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. There is a uh, Xbox One leak on Amazon that was actually a one terabit. Um, Xbox One, and basically what it was, it was a part of the Halo Collector's Edition um, package, I guess, and it also featured a new controller that also had a uh, a jack plug-in on the bottom, much like the PlayStation, because before, Xbox owners had to get an adapter to plug in the headset straight into the controller. Now it looks like the controller actually has one built in. And uh, another thing, PlayStation 4, there was two models um, kind of leaked, I guess, um, one actually being a one terabit hard drive. I should also mention the Xbox One is also a one terabit, the one that was leaked on Amazon. And I'm not sure if it's still up or not. However, it was on there for a brief moment if it still isn't on there. So uh, moving on, there's two new PlayStation models as well. Uh, the first one, we're not 100% sure what it is. We do know that both of these are very slightly lighter than the, the previous one. Uh, the previous... PS4s are 2.8 kilograms, and the new ones are like 2.5. I believe those are correct weight limits. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, I saw that stuff, and uh, I was going to kind of make a prediction for E3 with PlayStation 4. Now, since there is a new PlayStation 4 out there, a 1 terabit uh, system, which I would highly recommend to anybody getting a PlayStation, uh, because the 500 gigabytes is definitely not enough. Um, my prediction is that the PS4, the regular PS4, will receive a $50 price cut following E3. I feel I feel like that's going to be a big thing at E3. And then, uh, so the regular PlayStation 4, the 500 gigabyte model, will be uh, 350 and then the 1 terabit will be 400 So that's my prediction. I really hope that happens because I feel like that's something Sony should do. And, you know, I feel like that'll really help them in the battle against Xbox One, even though they said they don't really care about that because they're already so far ahead, even though their console's $50 more because Xbox One took a uh, pay cut a while back. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know that there's two new models of PlayStation 4 out and a new model of, of Xbox One. If you guys don't have those already or maybe thinking about switching to Xbox or PlayStation or upgrading or whatever, I do also want to mention... Um, you know, the thing I would probably recommend most for PlayStation 4 users is actually, I know I said earlier to buy the one terabit system, but I would actually recommend to buy the 500 gigabyte system and buy the, I believe it's called the Nyko Data Bank. It is a uh, new thing. It just came out, or I don't think it's out yet. I think it, it comes out on the 30th. But basically what this thing is, it is a 3.5 hard drive, like reader kind of thing. And basically, you put it on top of your system, and it allows you to expand the hard drive. And basically, what this thing does, I'm going to get one for myself when I, as soon as I pretty much can. Um, basically, this allows you to uh, put in like a 2.5 terabit storage system, or 2 terabit or bigger. And, you know, I think that is amazing. And, you know, that's more space than you'll ever need. You know, with the new consoles comes bigger games and stuff like that. So, I highly, highly, highly recommend picking up that thing if you don't have a PlayStation or, or if you even already have a PlayStation, I'd highly recommend picking up that. I believe it's 40 for the adapter and then whatever the cost may be for the hard drive. I know that may, may be a little expensive, maybe about $120 once everything's done with, but that's all the storage you're ever going to need. You're never going to have to get a new PlayStation because you run out of storage. I know PS3, you actually ran into that problem quite a bit if you didn't upgrade the, upgrade the hard drive. And, you know, with the new consoles, the games just keep getting bigger and bigger in size. Like, uh, Advanced Warfare is almost 50 gigs, and that's just crazy. And, you know, the more games that come out, uh, the more, like, advanced things are and stuff. So the more expensive they get. So I definitely recommend that. And for Xbox One users, you guys can actually get a external hard drive. So I highly recommend that as well. Uh, basically get one, a pretty big one. I'd probably recommend a 2 terabit. That'd be more storage than you'll probably ever need. A uh, 1 terabit, you may run out of room eventually, but it would take quite a bit to uh, do that. So that's all I wanted to uh, make this video for. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day. And make sure you guys come back to my channel during E3. I'll be uh, posting uh, 
updates hourly, uh, basically letting you guys know what's up, what I'm excited about, and what you guys should be excited about. So make sure you guys come back for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day, and peace out.